Hey everyone, welcome back to Brownlow Books. Um, I've read Greenwood by Michael Christie. Uh, I'm reading it now because it's on the Canada Reads 2023 shortlist. Um, but as if you saw my other videos, I already possessed it. I didn't have to buy it for this. And um, I'm kind of angry that I've let it languish on my shelves for two years unread because it is precious. I mean, I'm reading it now because of Canada Reads. Maybe, maybe it found me at the time I needed it. But I loved it. Like, not one of those, not one of those life-changing books. But like, I loved it a lot. And I'm angry that it's been here for two years because it made me have a little bit of an existential crisis when I looked at all my unread books and I was like, how many other fucking gems are sitting here hiding, waiting, and like, I haven't picked them up. And so like, I started freaking out about how many books I possess. <laughs> it's just, it's a thing. <laughs> so, um, it does follow five different timelines. Uh, 2038, 2008, 1974, 1934, and 1908. And at first I was like, how am I, how am I going to follow five different timelines and like keep them straight and follow everything that's going on? And I was just like, oh God, this, is this going to be work? <laughs> you know? Um, but it's not like bouncing around to all of the timelines. The timelines are set up like a tree ring, like a stump with tree rings. So we start on the outside at 2038 and then 2008 and 1974 and 1934 and 1908 is at the center. And once we finish 1908, we go back into 1934 and 1974 and 2008 and 2038. And I was just like, <laughs> this is brilliant. I love the setup of it. Like, it's not just like a random five different stories either. It's following, following this genealogical line of family and like what they're going through and what they're doing. And like, they think back to like, oh, this time with my family. And like, they, it's just, oh, the way it's put together, the weaving, the weaving of the tree rings, <laughs> it was delightful. Like, at first I didn't realize that's what it was doing, even though it's right in the front of the book that there's tree rings with the year's label on it. I was just like, oh, okay. And then I was reading it and I was like, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> and, like, it hit me and I went, holy fuck. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, as you can see tearing up a little bit, it made me cry a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Out of both love and hatred. <laughs> Um, blanket, blanket spoiler warning again, of course. Um, everyone you love and hate in this book ends up dead. I mean, it spans from 1908 to 2038. You have to kind of guess that that's what's going to happen. <laughs> but, um, that still did not prepare me for most of them. Um, lots of shit things happen to good people and good things happen to shit people. And bad things happen to shit people. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, the way it's all woven together is just amazing. And, like, the way the family has secrets, but, like, you know their secrets, but the people in the book don't necessarily know the secrets, and you're just like, oh my god, just fucking tell them. And you're just, like, yelling at them, like, please fucking tell them. Just please fucking tell them. And, like, they never tell them. And, like, so you know this family's whole secret. But, like, all these secrets of, like, all time. But, like, no one else does. And then you're just constantly learning more. And then you, like, go backwards. And then, like, you know, you're going aging on the way out. It's just, like, the way it's... I'm, I'm not doing this justice. <laughs> I'm not. I know I'm not. <laughs> But yeah, just, the, it's like the family secrets and then the family openness of other things and just the way it weaves is just delightful. And 
Temple Van Horn might be one of my most favorite people ever. <laughs> Just... Um, she's predominantly in 1934. She has a farm in Estevan, Saskatchewan. And she's just a wonderful human being. And I love her. <laughs> Don't leave that bad. <laughs> um, a thing I love about it, other than this side that is made to look like fucking tree bark, which is super fucking cool, is actually the trees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... The description of trees, the description of wood itself, and like paper and anything else that's made out of wood, all the furniture, and just like all of the things, the way they're described, they're just like the smell, the touch, the sight of it, and like it just, it's beautiful. It's like it, like even the way that like trees and wood and paper and all that makes you feel, and it's just like a beautiful poetry that runs through the book, like. It's like trees and wood and all of that are like a member of the family. <laughs> and it's just, oh, it's delightful. And you see these people making stupid decisions and you're like, why did you do that? Um, another thing I love about it is like the minor characters that you don't even see that much. But like, they're so well fleshed out. Like, you expect it for, like, the family, and then you're like, oh, there's gonna be people near it, but, like, they're probably not as important. But, like, they are important, and, like, they're so well fleshed out, and you're just like, you picture this person, and you think about it, and you're just like, yeah. Like, even Miss Craig in the fucking woodlot in 1908. Like, you know her secrets, but the boys don't know her secrets. And then you learn more, and you're just like, oh, is she actually an asshole? Are they going to live their lives thinking she's an asshole? <laughs> like, there's just all of these beautiful little things weaved together. And I just don't even... I can, I cannot form the thought to tell you how great this is because I am in a fucking heavy book hangover. <laughs> like, I finished this yesterday and I'm just like... Will I ever read again? <laughs> I just... I've loved it. I loved it so much. And I am not the only one because it has 13,246 reviews or ratings. And it has a 4.33 on Goodreads. And that's good. That's really good. You don't often get that many people agreeing on something. Am I right? So, <laughs> I mean, I thought I would hate the 2038 part of it because I'm like, uh... A dystopian apocalyptic future where a great withering has happened and all of the trees have died and I'm like I don't like that <laughs> but like the things we know about Jacinda Greenwood or Jake Greenwood the women in this book man the women in this book I often feel like sometimes women are an afterthought to certain writers. Not that way in this. Like, it does focus predominantly on men. But, like, it's, they're all well fleshed out. They're not just, like, stereotypical women. They're living humans, like... <laughs> as much as the men are and you think like oh it's about genealogy and so it should be like following the men right but like nah nah not just them <laughs> which is you know a matriarchal line is is a beautiful thing <laughs> so it is a little bit of a bigger book it's almost 500 pages but um it is well worth every page I could seriously go on for it forever, but it would just be me babbling of like, oh my god, the trees. Oh my god, this. Oh my god. Oh my god, the ocean. Oh my god, the schooner. <laughs> like, it would just be like, oh, the records. And none of this will make sense unless you have read the book. <laughs> so, I leave it about there and tell you that you should absolutely read it. Like, I fucking loved it. I started talking about it in book club today and I was just like, I think you guys should read this because I loved it, but I don't want you to like discuss it with me because it's mine. <laughs> you know, it's one of those books.
to me where it's just like when I love something a lot I don't want to discuss it because I just I don't even care what you think about it <laughs> like it's for me and if you say something and try to make me feel like it's not a, not a good book or something or you hated this about it I'm gonna be like shut your fucking trap <laughs> one of those books but it's Canada Reads so I had to discuss it with you right so <laughs> should you read it yes Yes, I think you should. Just don't try to talk to me about it, right? Uh, thanks for hanging out. I will see you around next time.